As President-elect Biden begins assembling his cabinet, Turkish President Erdogan seems to be preparing for the worst. For the past four years, a Trump White House meant a lack of sanctions for Turkey, but that time of protection is coming to an end. Bloomberg senior international affairs reporter Mark Champion joins us now. Mark, it's great to have you on Quick Take. Thanks to Trump, Turkey has avoided sanctions for the past four years. Just just give us a snapshot, sort of an idea of the relationship that, that Trump had with Erdogan. Uh, yes, they seem to get on very well. It was a highly personalized uh, relationship. Uh, the rest of Washington is uh, very out of sorts with Turkey. Turkey used to have a lot of support in different uh, parts of Washington, but that's evaporated over um, the past uh, several years, a number of years. Um, and at this point, uh, Congress is, uh, much as it is uh, when it comes to Russia, uh, is uh, there's a sort of bipartisan skepticism of Turkey. Um, and uh, there have been sanctions that were congressionally mandated, uh, which, uh, uh, you know, Turkey uh, bumped up against when it bought uh, uh, air defense missiles from Russia. And uh, it's really only uh, Trump's uh, reluctance to uh, trigger them uh, that has protected uh, Erdogan until now. Uh, so you, you have that. You have various other areas where there's a, you know, very significant problems between Turkey and the U.S. There's a, a big bank case where, uh, you know, the, the uh, a state-owned Turkish bank is accused of uh, up to $20 billion hmm. worth of uh, uh, money laundering to evade, help Iran evade sanctions. Um, there are issues over the Kurds, uh, U.S. Kurdish uh, uh, allies, uh, fighters in Syria who uh, Turkey considers terrorists. Uh, so you have a whole number of issues there. Always, as always, um, there is uh, an enormous uh, reluctance, and Erdogan has bet on this again and again and again, uh, from, from you know, whether it's the U.S., Europe, or Russia, or whomever, uh, to uh, call him out, uh, because you know, everybody always fears uh, losing Turkey. Uh, it's an extremely uh, strategically important country. Uh, he holds a number of cards, but it's, it's clear that you know, with Biden coming into office, um, the risks have risen for, for Erdogan. Okay, so what does it mean if, 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 if you're Erdogan right now? What, what are the type of, of sanctions uh, that, that Turkey could face come January 20th, 2021? Well, uh, you know, it will still largely depend on, uh, you know, the U.S. president. Uh, so, you know, the sanctions, the sanctions that are laid out, uh, Congress had said, uh, you know, there are a menu of 12 different sanctions for the president to choose from. So far, Trump... Uh, hasn't triggered them, so he hasn't chosen any. Uh, and there's an amendment going through Congress that you know would take that power away from the president, and uh, so he would have to choose at least five. And some, you know, uh, they range from symbolic to uh, really uh, pretty excruciating, uh, including uh, you know excluding a, a, a sanctioned entity from uh, U.S. any financial uh, institutions in U.S. Uh, jurisdiction, which the U.S. interprets very widely. So there have been several signs that Erdogan is prepping for the worst, at least since uh, the U.S. election. What has he been doing? Well, there's a, there's a few very interesting things he's done. Uh, one uh, is that uh, uh, he, his energy minister uh, they has gone to Parliament and said, look, we, uh, we, we want to repatriate some of the energy companies, Turkish energy companies that are uh, uh, located abroad um, to protect them from uh, potential sanctions. And he cited the U.S. Uh, precedents in, in, in particular, the, the U.S. Uh, pension for sanctioning. Um, so, you know, that was one sign. Uh, another is that, uh, you know, this is it, it's difficult to relate it uh, directly, but it will definitely play a role uh, that uh, you know, Erdogan has pursued a very uh, uh, unorthodox and risky monetary and uh, fiscal policy for uh, several years now. He believes that interest rates, higher interest rates, cause inflation rather than reduce inflation. And so he's uh, forced his central bank uh, into running a, a, a very low interest rate policy, uh, which it has really ended up getting them into serious trouble with the currency uh, uh, devaluating significantly. Uh, uh, devaluing significantly, um, so the, you know there was a there was a moment coming, but it just so happened that uh, Erdogan chose uh, November the seventh, the day that uh, 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 Biden's victory was announced. Um, that uh, uh, he chose that day uh, to uh, get rid of the central bank cha uh, chief and really uh, perform a dramatic U-turn on economic policy.
Bloomberg's Mark Champion, thanks so much for your time this afternoon. We appreciate it. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.